Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an email account using cPanel. So in my previous tutorial, we went to this website and I showed you how to back it up using cPanel. So let's go back to cPanel. So we'll type slash cPanel here and we see the login screen. I'm going to put in the username, it's already here, I'll put in the password. So now we can see cPanel and here we want to create an email account. So if you look down this section, you'll see a section dedicated to emails and you can click on email accounts here. So when you click on email accounts, there will be a default email account. This is where all data gets stored. So if someone sends an email to an email address that doesn't exist, then typically that email will get pushed into this default email account. But we don't want that, so we want to fix that. So what we're going to do is click on this create button. Let's click on create and we're going to put in an email address so it will be anything at this domain so it so what it will be info at simple forms architecture for example let's type in info and we'll have the domain there right so i'm just going to make a little note of what we're doing here so it will be info at this domain info at uh, simple forms architecture.co.uk and then we need to set a password Normally I just click the generate button, so let's just click generate and it will create some random password for us. So this password I'll make a note of as well. And then the storage, I'm going to set it to a small amount, this is only a demo, so I'm just going to set it to 10 megabytes. And then I'll just click the create button here, create. Once I click that create button, it will take me back to the main screen here, so I can see the new email account has been created. I'm going to show you how to check emails on here and do a few other things in a moment. But I want to just show you one thing that I normally do. So let's go back to cPanel here at the top, click cPanel. And in default email addresses, let's click here. Now, what's happening at the moment is if someone sends an email to, so let's say we've created one email account called info at simpleformsarchitecture.co.uk. Now, if someone sends something to admin at simpleformsarchitecture.co.uk, the email gets forwarded to this account here if it doesn't exist. So we want to stop that, so we're going to click here. Discard the email while your server processes it by SMTP with an error message. Failure message, see seen by sender. No such person at this address. So if someone sends an email to one of the email accounts that doesn't exist, like admin app, this domain name, or Joe Blogs app, Simple Forms Architecture, if the email address doesn't exist, it will reply back to that user saying, no such person at this with this address. And that's what we want, rather than having a catch-all email account where anyone can send anything to any permutation of your email address. Uh, and that causes some problems sometimes. This is normally a feature that I set. If you click the drop down, you might have one, more than one domain. So you might have simpleformsarchitecture.co.uk and .com. So you need to set it separately for both of these, right? And then we just click the change button. So now, anyone that sends an email address, it will only be ever accepted by info at simpleformsarchitecture.co.uk. That's the one email address email address that exists so that's the only one that will accept emails that's quite important you don't have to do that but i think that's quite an important uh, thing to set up and it will stop your inboxes getting filled up and receiving lots of spam and stuff another thing that you can do quickly is um let's go back to email account here and you want to check your email right so you can click on here check email now i'm going to show you a couple of ways if you click check email it will take you to webmail here but i'm going to log out of here I'm going to log out and I'm going to log out of cPanel because that's not normally the way that you would give clients access or you would typically access your email account. So normally what you would do is go to the domain name simpleformsarchitecture.co.uk and instead of typing in cPanel you type in webmail this time, webmail. And this time it's not going to ask you for the cPanel access, it's going to ask you for the email address and it's going to ask you for the password to access that email account. Now you're not logged into cPanel, you're logged into Webmail, where you can check your email. So if you click here, for example, maybe there's an email account in here, or an email, let's see. Let's just click on it. And uh, yeah, it's just got the one default email, right? The one default email set up in here. That's basically just the configuration settings for this email account. Okay, so that's how you go about creating email account using cPanel. 
uh, that particular email I am going to delete it so don't bother trying to send emails to it because it won't exist anymore I'm going to delete that in a little while but I just thought I'll show you that quick tutorial showing you how to set up email accounts using cPanel you can use that same procedure to set up different email accounts with different people in your business or you maybe you need multiple email accounts for yourself I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial